Welcome back. More than 6 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. It takes a toll on the individual and their entire families. By 2050, that number, though, is expected to grow to 12.7 million. Doctors say early diagnosis is the key to slowing this disease down. 95-year-old Sam Namer started losing his memory eight years ago. For decades, researchers have known beta amyloid plaques in the brain play a significant role in Alzheimer's. For some reason in Alzheimer's disease, it aggregates in your brain in a very, um, in a very big way. Now, a team of researchers at UC San Diego School of Medicine believe beta amyloid plaques, not in the brain, but in the retina, might be key to an even earlier diagnosis. It's thought that people have amyloid plaques or accumulations in their brain of beta amyloid probably 10 to 20 years before they see any real uh, symptoms. So the question here is, is amyloid in the retina at the same time or before that? In a small study, neuroscientist Robert Rissman found that the presence of retinal spots in the eyes correlated with brain scans showing higher levels of cerebral amyloid. This could be one of the first signs of the disease, and these spots can be detected during a normal eye exam. The goal would be for optometrists and ophthalmologists to be able to be kind of the first line people to screen uh, for Alzheimer's disease in their, uh, in their yearly meetups with their patients. Which is important because the earlier the diagnosis, the earlier you can prepare. The researchers believe retinal imaging would cut down on costly MRIs and PET scans. According to the Alzheimer's Association, treating Alzheimer's and dementia cost $355 billion last year. But by the year 2050, those costs could rise to $1.1 trillion.